but uh as you are all aware and i'm so i'm sure some some of you have been uh reading uh, through some uh publications uh if we are to go by the timelines as projected in our constitution our election should be uh, between the 20th of August and the 26th of, uh, of uh, August, uh, 2023. Uh, those, those timelines came about after, you know, uh, the due date for the expiry of this uh, current government, uh, which is supposed to expire on the 26th of, uh, July, of August. And also, uh, if we are to use the current uh, voters, uh, current delimitation report, which was uh, gazetted on the 20, 20th of February, what it means is that uh, the time, the six month uh, time lapse is on the 20th of uh, August, 2023. So uh, the projected dates uh, for the uh, elections are, are between the 20th and the 20th of August and the 26th of uh, August. Uh, be that as it may, uh, last week uh, Z announced uh, the voter as role uh, inspection uh, which is yet is supposed to commence uh, tomorrow, the 27th of, uh, of May, up to the 31st of May. That in itself is a clarion call to say that, uh, you know, uh, elections are here. And uh, we are anticipating that uh, the uh, proclam election proclamation should happen sometime uh, in the coming month of, uh, of uh, June. Uh, in that regard, we we'll would want to... Uh, uh, discuss uh, re issues relating to elections. Uh, first and foremost, we're looking at the biometric, biometric uh, voter registration uh, process. Uh, Section uh, 26A of our Electoral uh, Act uh, speaks to the issue that, uh, you know, our voters' role is supposed to close uh, two days after proclamation. So what it means is that uh, the BVR, the voter registration processes, anyone who wants to register as a voter should re register before uh, two days before uh, the proclamation uh, is done. So as, as the C, we are calling upon all Zimbabweans who are eligible to vote, to register to vote, who are 18 years and above, we have not yet uh, registered to say, let's utilize this short window let's get registered before the uh, second day after the proclamation because if one does not utilize that opportunity what it means is that he or she won't be able uh, to to vote on election day in august and that in itself clearly it means that uh, you know you yeah, yeah, you one will be sitting away his or her responsibility you know to make uh, political and uh, democratic decisions and ultimately what it means is that you know someone out there would make the decision for him or her and there they should there will be a risk then that you know wrong leaders will be uh, will be elected into office if you don't take up the call and take it as if it's your responsibility to register to vote and to vote at the end of the day.